Hi, ChemComply Tools here, back again with another safety data sheet template to help you get your safety data sheets uh, in compliance with uh, GHS format and GHS rules. Uh, this time we are focused on uh, Canadian market with this product. Um, what this does is uh, it allows you to develop both an English and a French safety data sheet at one time. Uh, for now, what we have you doing is creating the safety data sheet first in English and it will populate most of what you need on the uh, French version at the same time. And uh, I'll walk you through that. Um, if you've seen our previous videos, you kind of know what we have here is just a quick, um, uh, here's a quick wrap up. We've got a 16 section format, GHS compliant safety data sheet, so you've section one know all the way through our section 16. Uh, this is an Excel sheet so everything's modifiable um, to an, a degree. I mean you can expand your rows as you wish and so on. Um, I would not mess with columns too much because that might mess with the functionality of the pictograms up top here that I'm about to show you. Um, what we have here are embedded objects that you can select from these drop downs to get the different pictograms. I'll go back to the original ones here. We have these embedded hazard categories, all of the GHS categories. Uh, and as you select them, so this one here, I've got skin corrosion irritation category two. Uh, watch, I'm just going to quickly switch it to category one. Now watch what happens down here. Uh, as you select, you know, the different categories, it will automatically switch the um, the corresponding hazard statement. Uh, so there's sort of a one-to-one -one relationship that's been set up. Um, and so this particular product, we have multiple hazards built into this product, and as such, the corresponding hazard statements are uh, set up and displayed. And precautionary statements, uh, as you may have seen in our earlier videos, uh, these are separate. Um, they don't really connect to anything. Uh, you know, you can you select the ones that you know apply to your product. They're not driven by a previous selection above here. So, again, we have all of our precautionary statements set up. And it, if need be, you can overwrite them. So, like in in the case of uh, some of the P statements that have like dot 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 you know, use dot 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 for extinction, uh, extinct, uh, excuse me, extinction, you can say, you know, you know, you can manually edit and so on. Um, so, as you build this product in, in English, um, and you'll set up, you know, everything from your substances, you know, all of the statements you wish to show up in all of the sections, this one I just happen to have a, a, a material already built. Uh, as you do that, and let's go back to the top here, if you look down here, there's a French tab, SDS FR French. Click that. What you built on the previous product will uh, show up on the French version. So we've got our automatically translated uh, hazard categories the uh, pictograms, the um, uh, signal word, and the precautionary statements are automatically translated from what you entered on the previous tab. Um, so that goes all the way through the P statements. Now, what does not translate are all of the rest of the statements. Uh, for instance, here we're still on the French tab. Um, we, you know, all of the headings are in correct French. However, these items which were entered on the previous English tab have not translated. However, there are some uh, quick tools I'll show you uh, to be able to, to do that. So essentially what you'll need to do is uh, in Excel there are some pretty cool translator tools uh, set up uh, so that you can quickly uh, get this done. So. Uh, for example here, I've got my section 4, I'm in my French SDS. Uh, what you're going to want to do is, under the review ribbon, uh, you can actually get to translate. I'm in uh, 07 at this point, but uh, 
the directions I'm about to give you should apply to any Excel above 2007. Uh, what you want to do is look for this little down aerial, this uh, customize access, uh, the quick access toolbar. Click that. Click more commands. And what you're going to want to do is um, under choose commands from popular commands, you're going to want to go down to um, excuse me, I'm sorry, you want to kick, uh, do this drop down box and you want to look for the review tab. Click review tab. Once here, scroll down to translate, click it, and hit OK. Now here's what we'll do. You pretty much, you, you find those sections that have not been translated, which is a good chunk of the document, and you click this little button that just sh showed up here all of a sudden. So you click it, uh, you tell the system, I had already told it in this instance, but you, you'll choose the uh, language you want. In this instance, we want French. Um, and uh, you click the cell and then hit insert and it'll automatically insert. Now what you can do is just start cycling through. Click this button again, insert, click, insert, and so on. You know, it's it's a little bit time consuming and uh, if you are a company that has hundreds of products you have to do this through you know certainly this could be a little bit laborious and you might want to look at a larger more complicated piece of software um, but either way this gives you the quick flexibility to be able to uh, you know make a product on the go and doesn't you know you don't have to lock down into some uh, uh, big complicated uh, database type uh, system Okay, so now that I've shown you how to translate the document, um, and again, you can size rows how you wish. You know, if you need some room, for instance, right here, you know, you, you can make the document look how, how you wish. Um, I would once again say be careful with resizing any columns. That could cause some functionality problems. Um, but for the most part, rows shouldn't, uh, uh, resizing of rows shouldn't do much. Um, and, and you can feel free to do that all you want. Um, so at this point, we've assembled our safety data sheet. What I would uh, suggest you do is to uh, print to PDF. So file, print. Uh, print to PDF. If you don't have a PDF printer, I'd suggest going to get uh, Primo PDF. Um, but if you have Adobe, all the better. So print to Adobe PDF. And I'll go ahead and print that out and just give you a, a quick idea what that looks like. Uh, this is the assembled document. Um, of course, we had only translated part of the uh, document. This is translated. Um, other sections obviously we didn't get to but um, I think as you saw earlier we, we were kind of uh, pounding through those pretty quick. Um, so this is the French version you could go ahead and do the same thing to print the English version and uh, go ahead and just save the master template in the Excel file somewhere um, in your system um, so that if you need to make uh, edits in the future you, uh, you have a, a master backup to do so. Uh, that about wraps it up uh, for this demonstration you can feel free to call us, or excuse me, email us at info at chemcomply.com or check us out at www.chemcomply.com. Thanks a lot.